Uh, in a recent video I did showing some uh, different plants, flowers, and we had blooming around here for the honeybees. John there, uh, Jane L Zero, YouTube user Jane L Zero, asked a good question. He wanted to know if if the pollen and the honey that the honeybees are collecting from medicinal plants carry on to medicinal aspects of that plant. Uh, well, I honestly can't ask or answer that question, but I can talk about other uses other than just honey from honeybees. Uh, there's a, it's called epitherapy, epi being Latin for honeybee. It's the use of, of the products of the hive for medicinal purposes. Uh, a lot of people think you just get honey from, from a beehive. Well, there's, there's other products you get. You get you get beeswax. I got samples here. I got some honey piece of honeycomb. This is just a big ball. Every time I uh, go through a hive, on the, on the top of the frame, they'll build bird comb. And I'll just take my hive tool and I scrape that up, put it in a ball, and throw it in a bucket in my garage. It's got a lot of uses. Uh, you can collect pollen. There's, there's what they call pollen trap that mounts over the entrance. And the bees have to crawl through that little holes in the screen, and if they do it, knock some of the pollen off their legs into a little tray. And, then you have to you have to put it in like a, a dryer, some kind of dehumidifier thing to dry it down, or you have to freeze it or it'll spoil. Uh, there's propolis. Propolis is this this resin. It's uh, these collect like pine sap and, and mix it with honey and I don't know what all they put in it, but they make this resin and they coat the whole inside of it. I can get these things up and kind of stuff in it on my hive tool. They coat the whole inside of the hive, and it's got antibacterial properties that that keep any any uh, bacteria from growing in the hive that they don't want. Uh, bee venom itself is, is very medicinal. If you go to epitherapy.com, uh, there's there's a lot of information on that website. If you click on diseases, there's a long list of, of all the things that are known that products from the beehive do treat. Uh, honey, honey alone is, is an excellent burn cream. Uh, before antibiotics were invented, they used honey because honey has a natural peroxide. Excuse me a second. Honey has a natural peroxide, hydrogen peroxide in the honey that, that actually cleans wounds not just not just burns but any kind of wound that you get an infection in put some honey over that with a loose dressing over it and uh, it'll help cure it during the civil war that's what they used for, for burn cream on, on soldiers who were burned uh, there's, there's a there's a honey if you go to your local drugstore pharmacy and uh, you'll find a it comes in a tube it's called manuka honey uh, manuka honey comes from the manuka bush, which is uh, native to New Zealand. And one of the one of the people that got me started beekeeping was a kid named Leaf. He was from New Zealand, and he was telling about a guy he worked for in New Zealand had acres and acres and acres of this manuka bush. And the honey is just, I guess, it's kind of nasty tasting, and it crystallizes almost instantly in the cells. So when you're extracting it, it extracts really hard. He says it sounds like, he, the way he described the meat, it sounds like buckshot shot flying out of the, hitting the sides of the thing and running down. He says it, it just comes out little crystallized cylinders. And he says they, they couldn't get rid of it. They couldn't sell it. Nobody wanted it. It don't taste good. But then scientists have discovered that there's, there's three times the hydrogen peroxide in the Manuka honey that, that so now that they actually, this guy's, the guy's living on a gold mine now. He's selling this stuff for high dollar to pharmaceutical companies and for making burn creams. And, and they're starting to use it. Uh, war veterans coming home from Iraq and Afghanistan that have been burned bad. They're actually going back to using Manuka honey on their burn wounds. Uh, this propolis, there's, there's all kinds of medicinal purposes. You can make a, a how do you pronounce that? A, a tincture. You take this stuff and you can make 
you can dissolve it down and make like a, a gargle for or a mouthwash gargle for sore throats. Uh, bee venom alone. I got a bumblebee wanting to get in on the action. Bee venom alone. I've discovered a lot of times that if you get stung moderately one or two times, the next day a lot of your aches and pains go away. Uh, there's a lot of doctors that actually get in little boxes with honeybees in them. Uh, Rheumatory arthritis is a real big one. Doctors will actually, like if you got it in your knees or your elbows, they'll actually, the doctors themselves will sting the area to relieve the pain. It hurts for a little while, but it'll give you a week or two of, of pain relief. Uh, I've recently read an article, I was half awake when I read it, I gotta go back and find it. They've discovered that honeybee venom is actually killing the HIV virus, so Lord knows, cure for AIDS might be sitting right there in one of them boxes. Who would have, who would have ever thought that? Uh, beeswax. There's all kinds of, of, of uh, things you can do with beeswax. You can make you can make uh, hand lotions, lip balms, all kinds of things like that. Skin care products, soap, uh, natural natural soap you make with beeswax. And uh, it makes it makes really good skincare product. So do do some research out there. Go to epitherapy.com. Uh, John, I know you're really interested in getting into beekeeping. Check out a, a website. It's called uh, it's called uh, beesource.com. So it's a really good forum there. Sometimes it gets a little drama in it, but it's got some interesting uh, interesting writings in there. And there's a chat room in there. Join the chat room some night. You'll find me in there just about every night I'm home. A uh, lot, lot of information out there on the internet, but it's just, I'm just covering the basics. Sometimes I'll, I'll sit down and, and write up a bunch of stuff that, that more things that you can do. But there's a lot more products than just honey come from my eyes. You got beeswax, you got you got the pollen. A lot of a lot of people will take spoonfuls of pollen. They say it gives them a lot of energy. Uh, if you're allergic to, uh, say, you have hay fever or certain plants, if you get if you get allergies in the spring or, or the summer to fall separate, find a local beekeeper that's near you and buy some honey from them. You don't want you don't want micro filtered honey. You want either raw honey or lightly screened. I just run mine through a kitchen sieve, so it takes out the bigger chunks of wax and stuff. But you want all them little bits of bits of pollen in it. That's what makes it healthy. And you don't want it to be heated. If you heat honey over 120 degrees, it kills a lot of the enzymes in there that make it hot, make it healthy. So uh, you buy that local honey that's got all that pollen in there and then you take a spoonful every day and over time your body will build up an immunity to these allergies that you have. A lot of people get allergy relief just by taking honey every day. Uh, I'm just covering some of the basics now. Some of the health benefits. And, and another thing is uh, just having a hobby alone. Um, it's been proven by science that people with a health, with a with a good hobby, actually live long and live longer and have a uh, have lower blood pressure because it helps relax them, it gives them gives them something to help relax. So. What are you doing here? Huh? So I hope this helps you out, John. I didn't answer your question directly. My belief is it would probably have some benefit from them making honey from from medicinal plants, but just just the, the health benefits alone from the products of the hive are just overwhelming. It, you go to that website, just see the list of everything from psoriasis, arthritis, coughs, everything. So I hope this helped you out, Jack. Uh, if you're not a subscriber, check out JNL Zero. He's got some interesting, interesting videos there. Give you a little shot of the bees coming in this morning. Hopefully they ain't getting too grumpy here. I'm gonna take a peek in them before I go camping here for a few days. But thanks for watching.